Hi Scorpio, this is your March forecast. If you'd like a private reading with me or hypnosis to facilitate permanent change, do use the link below. Do watch your sun, moon and rising because some of these cards are coming out again. So when you watch your other videos, it will give you more information so you've got a complete reading for yourself. Uh, now, what you'll focus on all of this month is your dating life, your children, your hobbies and any kind of projects that you have. And for some, it's a slight nod to our siblings as well. All of your cards are great this month. So when we look at your uh, career, study and finance, we do have the Empress card, Major Arcana card, about abundance, about having the money, about having that job, about having all that you need uh, financially or in your career right now for you to be able to move forward. Now, this is a major movement, major role, major uh, shift in your life. So if you've been working towards that, this is the month you're going to get that. Yes. Now, on your long term, you are able to... Um, you're to let go of a role that you have now, and through that, uh, you're going to work a commitment to have that um, new role at the end of that road, and that's over the next 18 months. But that's what you're working through. So you might find that those changes will be coming up uh, now or over the next couple of months, but sometimes they'll come up way uh, ahead of, so something might pop up now, you know, remember that detail, or make sure something's signed, or make sure that you're co uh, covering everything. Where you need to take some action is that, you know, if you're looking to build on your name, build on your career, um, advance in your career, there's some skills and duties and abilities that you need to uh, tweak, that you need more of, new learning. And also your perspective and your mindset is going to change for you to be able to have this contract and commitment, whether it be work or love, and to get that new role. That's at the end game. But these are the, the actions and, um, and rules that you need to stick to right now which is, um, you know, uh, lay your foundation, set out your name, you know, ambition, um, set up a profile, uh, build your name on that. And then secondly, you know, any skills that you can learn, um, upskill, um, old thoughts, old perspectives, make those changes there. When it comes to your home, you do have a yes, you have something about publicity here, so you might be having an open home. You might be um, taking photos and sticking it on social media. You've got a yes for your home. Um, so if these two were together, I've got, we landed that line to buy my first home. And, you know, it's the first time we've done that or we've been hanging out for that. And now we have that now. As far as family's concerned, look, someone this month has um, got a yes. Uh, and they we're celebrating that together. And when it comes to your house, we've got an issue that's come back from our childhood or an issue that's occurred before that is going to reoccur now. Um, and this is in the sixth house of solar plexus, midriff, bowels, colon, intestines, and abdomen, and healing by practical measures. So um, if this is about anything to do with psychological, then this is about the psychological foundations on which we grew up on that propel us in our life's daily actions. So that whether that be past lives or our childhood, through this month, there is going to be something that is going to get you to work through that and to make those changes there, practical um, changes as well. And on the other area, in the solar plexus, midriff, bowels, colon, intestines, and abdomen, this is something that's occurred before that is going to be um, coming up again for you to address, for you to be able to sort it out. And if we are dealing with something now, we might have some answers um, from before that we need to explore, we need to research, whether it be yourself and all your family members as well, because that information from before is going to help us with what comes up now. When it comes to your love, we do have the star card. This is a major arcana card. Now, this is about finding emotional balance. This is about, you know, you may find uh, this month, Libra, that you meet your match. Now, this is an Aquarius card, uh, first and foremost, um, but then it would be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Uh, sun, moon, or rising. So Scorpio, when we're looking at our um, dating life, so if we're looking just at our dating life, we're meeting someone who is quite important to us. For some of us, it is a return. This is a renewal of love, whether it's an ex we're taking back or whether it's as a couple, we're feeling that love, that um, energy, that um, sort of new surge on our relationship. If this is about a project, we've got the money that we need there. Somehow this is going to be in the public eye. We are, and it's a nod to something we've done in the past or, or, you know, it might. For example, out of the blue, this could be, you know, I'm in a whatever hobby it is or sport that I'm doing and I've made the team. 
So I've made an accolade and they're showing my past performance. Um, and I'm the star of the show. Because this card is about being in the limelight. It is about being the star. It is about um, getting a five-star review, all of those things as well. And if we're talking about our children, um, we might find that um, they are socializing uh, with new people. Uh, so if this is a new school or we've gone from primary to intermediate, intermediate to college. Um, and with that, um, we're putting all our time and energy into that. Drawing virtue messages from the angels, Libra. Take a cautious um, route. Don't take the first um, offer. Don't take the first um, whatever it is that's giving to you. You know, use your gut instinct. Don't jump on it straight away. Give yourself a little bit of time, 48 hours to really look into it. And Astara says you are going to make it. These are two stars. Um, so you're going to find that this month that you are going to be feeling really good about yourself. You're getting some attention, a uh, bit of publicity. Um, you're being seen. Uh, on social media, you're getting out and about. Uh, this car says you deserve the best, reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. So be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.